So Island's updated and now we have the most powerful weapon in the game. It is the Spirit Spellbook. So this thing is insane, right? It does the most damage out of every weapon in the game. And on top of that, it's got like infinite heal. It's insane. Like you cannot die with this spellbook. So I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this new spellbook, how to get it and what it does. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to show you how to get it right now. So first up, you do need to go to Spirit Island, how you get here. So from your island, go into the hub. You can go in through the hub portal or any way that you'd like to get there go over here to this mr adventure guy and go into slime island so go over here to the right and you'll see spirit island it does not require anything special no combat limits or anything like that um ideally bring a horse because it's so much easier with a horse and what you're going to want to do is a couple things first up if you don't have the quest yet definitely do that do the catch spirits quest it's going to help you get a lot of spirit jars so we're going to go and start the quest now you don't have to do the quest to get spirit jars but you kind of it's just going to speed things up so much faster i mean 40 is a lot so you do also need a net to catch spirits if you've never done that before if you don't have a horse go to talia and get a horse egg you have to wait like six hours for the horse to fully mature so you can ride it but um definitely worth it so you can see i just caught a white spirit and i just got one spirit jar so i'm going to show you that again boom got a spirit jar now i think the spirit jars do um oh here here's here's a uh, green so green will actually give you the essence that you're needing so you really want to find these greens See, I just got a green spirit essence. They will drop you one spirit essence that is required to be able to make this spell book. So we just, we just lucked out. It took me so long this weekend to do this, but um, what you're gonna wanna do for the spirit jars, just go around collecting spirits for a while. You need 200 of them as part of the crafting for this thing. The other thing you're gonna need is a spell book. If you don't have a spell book, definitely gonna wanna get one. Um, what I would say is don't go after these pink ones yet. Complete the first task out of the spirit quest. So like, let me show you what I mean by that. Oh, by the way, um, I guess I should tell you right now that as part of this last update, they did add this really cool star favoriting. Um, if you remember my last video, I was saying they should add something like this and they added it. Thank you, devs. And that was super fast too. They actually added that really fast and it's so much better because the nice thing is you can go through the quest log now and any quest that you want to do, like say I want to catch frogs. Um, actually, I don't want to do that. Let's say I want to start a farm. Let's see, maybe we'll go after some opal rocks later. Then you can favorite them and they're going to show up on the right side. And so you can track your quest now while you're going around. So you don't have to like keep going into that menu over and over and over and over. You can track it this way. Way. Oh, see, I didn't even um, talk to Catherine yet. So without knowing that, I would have been just catching spirits. So go over here to talk to Catherine. We'll complete our first step. If we can find her. She's all the way back here. The devs have been doing a really good job with the updates lately. It's, it, you know, some of them are small. They actually thought this one would be pretty small, but it's actually pretty significant. I think it's significant. It gives us a really powerful new weapon. Okay, so just talk to her, close that out, and you'll see now we need to catch white spirits. So we need to catch 15 of those. Um, This was a big find, by the way. If you can find a green spirit, make sure you farm them because you really want green spirits. That's, that's where the money is. You can't just go and like sell these essence to anyone. So you actually have to farm and um, make these yourself but you can sell the spell book. So after you make the spell book, that's where you're going to make your millions. I think I saw that the spell book, um, this new spell book was going for about 6 million. I don't know if that's still true. There's high demand. A lot of players just want to buy it. They don't want to grind, but 6 million, I mean, that's pretty quick. Now, good luck finding anyone selling spell books though. That's the, that's the challenge. You might have to be looking for spell pages. Okay, one more. And now we can start working on blue spirits. So I left any blue spirits around here. So that's why you want to just focus. Don't catch the blue stuff. Don't catch the stuff you don't need yet. That's a tip for you let the let these things spawn we just need 10 of these keep catching the white ones though once you complete the white quest just can keep catching them because you need these um spirit jars let me show you what the spirit jars look like right here so i have 234 of them already i, I believe the devs are going to continue adding um they haven't confirmed this i'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot more stuff coming out for the existing islands so there's more reason for us to like grind and farm on those islands which is really cool it's what we needed you know all along i hope they do something more for rubies i hope they do something more for um, pirates island but we really need more like stuff to do on those islands would be really cool even like desert island imagine like the scorpions give you you know something new it'd be really fun it, it gives us a reason to go back this is the most fun i've had in islands in a while because they, they gave me something to go for i wasn't really a fan of the um treasure chest because i don't feel like there's anything new in those oh i see a green one let's go catch it that's another green essence for me sweet all right we got the green one let's get another essence oh i didn't get it I think if you have an essence in your inventory, it doesn't give you one. Dude, I didn't realize that. So you got to use it. It gave me seven jars though. That's pretty cool. Okay, we got this blue one here. One more blue one. That's all we need. There we go. There's a blue one. So yeah, if you see another green one, unfortunately, you won't be able to keep it. Why don't we go back? I'm going to show you how to make this thing. So if you go to your island, go into the um, anvil right here. If you go down just to the other spell books here, you're going to notice this new one right here. It requires one spell book. It requires 50 spirit crystals, which I'm going to show you how to make in a second. Um, 
Um, we got some spirit jars. We got 400 of those. We got plenty. And then we also have the green spirit essence, which you just saw how I got. So now what I do over here is I just have like a little area for my um, my crystals. So these are just spirit seeds. You can buy these at pretty much most shops and you just farm them to get those crystals. Most players use those for um, colored glass, but you can see we now have enough. We got 51 spirit crystals. So let me craft that. And now I've got two of them. Now, yeah, spirit jars are not tradable. So you cannot trade these or the green essence. So now that I have two of these, let me show you what they do. So the first thing you're going to notice when you shoot this thing, there's different colors. So you got like blue, you've got white, you've got pink, you know, you got green, you got pretty much all the same colors as the spirits, right? So if you recall, we caught white spirits, we caught blue spirits, pink spirits, and green spirits. Now the same order of rarity is going to be true for the damage these make. So your commons are going to do the least amount of damage, which is going to be the white spirit. The second one is a little bit more like um, uncommon would be like blue. And then pink is kind of like rare. And then green is like the ultimate like legendary, right? It's the most rare you can find. The damage does the same thing. The other thing you're going to notice is this green flash. See when I'm like spamming this, look how fast I, I flash green. So I'm going to show you something now. I'm going to just let these guys do some crazy damage to me. I mean, if they can, they're only doing 10 damage to me. So we're almost dead. So what you can do is you can just spam this. Look how fast you heal. You no longer need food to heal yourself. You just need this weapon. I just healed myself completely. So the big difference between this weapon and the Ruby Staff, if you remember the Ruby Staff, you would heal yourself and others around you. The major difference here is the Ruby Staff only healed you when you made damage. So you had to actually cause damage to a mob for you to be able to heal yourself. Now you can just go over here in the corner, heal yourself, go back in. Now, the other thing is you'll notice that we do have this charge still. It's the same as any other weapon, pretty much the same kind of casting, just different colors. And it's pretty cool. So here's what I'm going to show you. I have in my skills here, you'll notice my magic level is 95. It's not maxed yet, but it's pretty close. So you can see it's got a percentage based magic uh, multiplier. It doesn't do it based on a flat damage. It does it by a percentage. This is why magic weapons are so powerful is because they they never switched it to just a base damage um, buff. So like unlike melee, so if you go over to melee weapons, like my light melee, it's a, it's a flat damage buff. So it's a plus 16 to whatever the damage amount is for the sword. Whereas magic is based on a percentage. That's why magic does so much more damage. Melee used to be percentage based too until they were too powerful, but they left magic and they never changed magic. So that's why magic weapons are insanely powerful. Based on that, knowing that my level is going to change my damage. My damage is going to be different than yours. If you have less magic levels, your magic damage is going to be less than mine. Or if you're maxed out at 99, then your damage is going to be more than mine. So just want to make sure you're clear. Our numbers are not going to match up unless you are level 95. So with the white spells, I'm doing 208 damage. So let's see if I can get one on. So that's a pink that does 260. Blue's going to do 234. So 234. There's white for 207. Um, I didn't hold all the way down. It's usually 208. And then pink's going to do 260. Blue's back to 234. White's 208. If we can get a green, if we can get a green spell, which is kind of rare, you don't see it that often, it's going to do 364 damage. 364, not 264, but 364 damage to this mob. Um, that's white for 208. Another white, another white. Like I said, green's not very common to happen, but when it does, that's like a that's like a critical hit. So if you're like fighting like a boss, this weapon's awesome. Look at that, 260. So all around, this is the best magic weapon currently in the game. I think Dez was telling me, she's on mobile, so she was telling me she can spam heal herself as well. But you see that, that green flash, it's crazy really helpful by the way just a quick tip on this um if you're in third person the spell will go flat whatever your character is pointing it will go straight um if you are in first person like this it will go wherever you're aiming so if you want to aim to the sky it'll go up to the sky it requires a little bit more you know accuracy because of that um that's why i don't prefer aiming that way unless unless they're higher up like if i was like down here shooting that guy i would do that in first person but instead it's probably just easier just to do this oh look at that 364 damage just then i'll replay that for you 364 that almost one shots them i bet if i was level 99 i'd be one shotting buffalo core right now so yeah this is the best weapon currently in the game something else that's really awesome is that they gave everyone with vip pass and pro pass free cam. Unfortunately, it's only PC. So if you're a mobile user, unfortunately, that's that's a Roblox issue. That's not the game devs issue. The Roblox client allows the free cam ability. And typically it's reserved for developers, but they unlocked it for others. And so it's shift plus P and you can do what I do. So you can now fly around with this camera. It's a huge feature. If you've always wanted to do this in islands, you can now do it with VIP or pro pass. Um, but yeah, free cam, you can now fly around, do your own videos, especially if you're a builder, you can now take like really cool glamour shots and videos of your island. 
especially if you're doing like maybe a build kind of tutorial it's nice because you can kind of show the entire thing it's really neat they also made it so that you can see the rewards so like if you go into the quest you, it'll show you what you get so you can see like harvesting crops 20 coins 30 coins 40 coins and it scales all the way up to 150 coins and these are repeatable so that's gonna be it for me with this update it's a pretty cool weapon i wasn't sure at first i was like what it's just another spell book that does base damage and when i was checking it it seemed like a pretty weak weapon until i saw that it scales it's actually a really crazy crazy cool weapon so i was talking to verlias about publish shops crashing like every 30 to 40 minutes so hopefully they'll be able to dedicate some time to you know troubleshooting that and seeing if they can find a fix because i don't know about you but i miss publishing my island for 24 hours it was a lot of fun you know especially on my alts i'd be able to publish my island overnight and i, I just haven't been able to do that for over a year so it'd be really nice to be able to do that anyway thanks again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace Okay,